I'm sure one can do the math, but this scenario paints a bleak future for a country like the Marshall Islands. Here in the Marshall Islands, we are already experiencing the effect of climate change. And we are on the front lines of this global crisis. On Marshall Island, our very life is woven into the land. There is a saying in Marshallese that uh, man without a land is no man. And for anybody just to come and say, why don't you just move to another high mountain land? They have no understanding of who we are at Marshall. It's not that simple as just leave your plan. Before we didn't really wasn't there wasn't a lot of awareness about about uh, climate change and but now we're seeing a lot of a lot of erosion all around the islands. Our biggest fear is because these islands are low-lying atolls. We're probably two meters above sea level. We're nervous, we're, we're worried about our water lenses. And then every time we go to the ocean, coastal erosion is still happening. And to avoid this, we should put wave breakers along the coast. Building a seawall to prevent the sea level rise, maybe a short-term short -term solution. And you can't build you all around every island in the Marshall Islands. Look at this island. It's a small part of the Marshall Islands. Billions of dollars are going to be involved. And at the end of the day, you may still have to give up some of these islands. It reminds me that what's happening in Greenland affects here, in my own island, in my own country. This is good for us. We like that it's getting warmer. They're welcoming some of the changes. But, you know, What's good for them is devastating for us. What might seem positive, getting warmer, not being as cold, is actually going to impact our entire livelihoods. This place, the Marshall like the bigger countries or the bigger population to reduce their fossil fuel consumption or anything that just causes climate change in general. And we're looking up to the major emitters to stop talking and start committing to their commitments. 